months ago, Blue Eddy asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing the EB3A power station. Naturally, the answer is yes. So when they asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing the PV200 solar panels, it was not a hard decision to make. So I just set them up outside. Let's get to some specs. Let's start with the, power panel, the solar panels. So the model is a PV200, 200 watt at peak power, PM, solar cell lamination, ETFE, cell efficiency up to 23.4%. There's a lot of numbers here I don't understand. Hold on a second. Ah, operating temperature, minus 10 degrees Celsius to, with a little squiggle, plus 65, plus 65 degrees Celsius. That's... That's very warm. I'm a delicate Canadian flower and I will melt in the heat. So we're going to avoid anywhere where it's plus 65. Best working temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Still a little warm for me, but we can make that work. There are four panels. The dimensions unfolded are, I'm gonna skip the centimeters, 23.2 uh, by 89.4 inches. So roughly two by two. Or sorry, two by eight, because folded, it is 23.2 by 24.8 inches and a 16.1 pounds or 7.3 kilograms. And because if you're gonna plug in solar panels, you have to have something for them to plug into, why don't we go over some of these? Battery capacity for the EB3A. Oh, there's a difference between US and EU, UK and Australia. That's interesting. We're gonna go with the US one because US is close enough to Canada. The battery capacity is 268.8 WH. I don't know what that means. Uh, in brackets, 12 AH. Cell type is LIFEPO4. Dimensions, oh, here we go, inches. 10.04 by 7.08 by 7.2 inches. Weight is 10.14 pounds or 4.6 kilograms. Discharging temperature, I don't know what that means, discharging temperature. Minus four to 104 Fahrenheit or minus 20 by 40 Celsius. We're going anywhere where it's 40 Celsius. That, that's it. Uh, we got other things to worry about. Charging temperature is 32 to 104 Fahrenheit or zero to 40 Celsius. Working humidity. Oh, so we can't take it to the ocean. Or we could take it to the ocean. Rainforest is probably a little bit out though. 10 to 90%. AC output is 600 watts. Surge, 1200 watts. Voltage AC for the US. There is a lot, okay. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't understand. I mean, I could, I could fake it, but I'm not going to. You know what I care about? How's it gonna perform? What do you say we go find out? So we're back, we're all charged up and we're gonna go through it step by step. Lloyd did send me these products for review um, at no cost. However, this opinion is all mine. Like they've had no input in, in anything that I, that I say about this stuff. So let's just get that completely out of, out of the way. Whew. I know that I'm supposed to sit here and tell you about all the specs and, and all that. I, 
the way I look at it is the same way I look at my car. I don't need to know what the horsepower is as long as it gets me from point A to point B and can pull a trailer. Uh, if you're a tech and spec kind of kind of person, it's all going to be in the in the description, and as well as a blog post that I'm I'm writing uh, for this all. So it's there. If you if you're into it, it's there. So. I'll start with the EB3A portable power station. My initial impression, very sleek design. Like that, that's just the only word that I can look at is that it's sleek. Uh, it's also a lot lighter than I expected. Like I, I picked it up and it's a little bit smaller than a deep cell marine battery, but like the difference in, in weight was just phenomenal. It was just like, ooh. The, the rounded corners and edges, not only is that great for preventing injury, because if someone's going to hurt themselves, it is going to be me. It also makes it easier to wiggle it in between items. Like if you're trying to squish it into a car, oops, I accidentally turned it on. If you're trying to, <laughs> if you're trying to move, you know, position it between things, straight edges, uh, sharp edges are going to get caught. Whereas rounded edges, you can kind of wiggle it on in there. Everything, <laughs> everything can be accessed from the front, including charging. So there is, there is literally nothing that you really you don't need to move it to use it unless you need to clear off the top for the oh, I'm trying to drop this charging pour a pad, which I've gotten so spoiled with. It's it's ridiculous just how awesome that is. So we got uh, nine outputs. So two twelve, two twelve volt, two USB A, one USB C, one twelve volt. So like a car plug two 12 volt DC plugs and the wireless charging. There's also the flashlight. I'm not gonna turn it on because it is, it is ridiculously bright. Uh, it, will, it, will, it will, it will, it will flatten out your, your retinas. Thank you, Lily. Okay, so to charge, you can use the solar panels like we did outside. I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see where, where my window is. Uh, you can also use a wall plug and, or optional uh, you hook it into a car while you're charging. Um, from the wall, I was able to go from zero to 100 in about 73 minutes, which I thought was great. Solar panels, I was able to get a full charge. I've charged it a few times. Uh, just over two hours, I think, was the best time on like a super bright sunny day with not a cloud. Uh, today was a bit hazier, I think it's from wildfires. So that took a little bit longer, but still you move it, it, you're great. Now I will say that the first few times I charged it, there was a slight odor of burning plastic, but that quickly, it, you don't smell it anymore. So the solar panels, I was surprised at how heavy they were at 16.1 pounds. I mean, they're, they're so thin. Like, look at that, look at that but they're, they're heavier than the portable power station. So that, that was a bit of a surprise, but still it's not, it's not a huge problem. I don't know why I'm holding them up like this, like I'm a baby. Um, so connecting them is really, really easy. The wire that's connected to the panels has a red wire and black wire connector. The charging cables that came with this have a red wire, black wire connector, and you just literally plug them in together. There, no thinking involved. I didn't even look it up to see how to do it because I wanted to see if I could figure it out. And it was it was very intuitive, which I love. I like tucking the the power station behind the solar panels. A, it keeps it out of the way. It keeps it in the shade, which keeps it from being tripped on, especially by me and or some puppies. So. Uh, that's nice. It also keeps it uh, cool. You can charge while it's charging itself, so that's cool. I had my 12 volt cooler in there, and the the input was about double what the output was. So even though the cooler was draining it, it was still charging uh, like more. So that's that's awesome. I've heard or I've read on some other reviews people complaining about the panels not being waterproof and. To be quite honest, I don't know why that's an issue. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments. 
And, and the reason why I don't think it's an issue is you're not going to get much sun if it's raining. So if you're planning on a set it and forget it, these aren't really that sort of a, a panel because you have to move them anyway. And if you want to leave them out in the rain, like you want to attach them to your car, this, this isn't that kind of, of solar panel. So if you're expecting it to do something it's not designed for, of course, you're not going to be happy. The other problem is, is if you do want to leave it out while you go hiking for the day or whatever, I'd be worried about people swiping it while you were gone because it is literally that easy. You don't need multiple people. You don't need tools. You just grab it and go. So um, that's, I, for me, the waterproof or lack thereof is not even an issue. So pros and cons. The overall pros far outweigh the cons, in my opinion. The, the sleek design, lightweight use, in, like, it's so intuitive too. I, I love it. There's multiple different ways to charge if need be. You don't have a brick, like if you're charging it in from the wall, it's literally just a plug. And there's no thinking involved. You plug one, it's the only plug that fits. So no thinking involved at all. The downside is that it does have a somewhat limited capacity. Like if you're buying this thinking that you're going to run your entire house out of it, it's not it. This is, this is the wrong design for that. If you're, I wouldn't even try and charge my, my fridge with it because just the hassle of pulling it out from the wall, it wouldn't even last that long. So emergency power use, charging your electronics, course I didn't think she would drink for that long there is an app that goes with this I didn't use it and the reason why I wanted to make sure that I could use it I want to judge the functionality without the app I have found that a lot of places where I travel personally apps just don't work I mean I could be literally standing right next to the device that this app is for and it's not working so I've just gotten used to not counting on them and really, from what I've read, the only thing that the app can affect is charging speed or charging capacity. So you can boost it so that it charges faster. I, I've, I've never had a need where I need to worry about that. Um, so for me, it's not even an issue. The, the smell might irritate people as well as when it is charging there is a the fan does kick in so some people might find that bothersome as you can tell there's a lot of ambient noise in my place so a fan is really usually drowned out by kibbles and drinking and and king having having temper tantrums like he's about to right now oh he heard his name i hear you there so fan doesn't bother me at all so the pros of the solar panels, again, very intuitive design, very easy to hook up. The legs are adjustable for uh, angle, so you can, you can adjust it whichever, you know, to best get the light. It's fairly compact, very thin. Yes, it is a bit bulky, you know, 12, you know, two by two, but thin is fairly good. The handle seems to be very compact, like very secure. Like there has been no, like, there's no wiggle. There's no give on this. So I don't anticipate the, the handle breaking easily. I love the double zippered pouch because it allows you to adjust where the cable comes out of it, which is just a better way of keeping everything kind of out of the way and uh, minimizing tripping hazards. No sharp edges. I think the, the only thing that's even close to a sharp edge would be the would be the zippers. So if you wanted to throw it up on a, and even those aren't that sharp, it would just be like metal. So if you wanted to throw it up on your car or something, I, that is an option if you were really careful. Uh, but obviously not to drive because there's no way to secure it. No, no amount of duct tape would keep that on a car if you were driving. So the cons, the weight and the size might be awkward for someone who maybe has say like joint issues or back issues, uh, especially your hands. 
Like I'm thinking someone maybe with like uh, like rheumatoid arthritis flare up or something that might be awkward and it might be difficult to handle. And that's just, it. it's not really hard. It's just awkward. The legs aren't super steady on, on um, like uneven ground, but I'm also not gonna be setting this up on a mountaintop either. So it's gonna be relatively flat there anyway. So I don't see that being much of an issue. Ideal uses, car camping for sure, front country camping, overlanding, boats and RVs for definitely hunt camps. Uh, if you're not hauling it in, like this is not good for backpacking or, or powering an entire house in a power outage. This, this is good for keeping everyone's sanity when the power goes out and it's small enough that you could keep it in an apartment. And if you've got, you know, depending on a balcony, you could toss it on a balcony if you've got a multiple day power outage. So that's it. That's the EV3A power station. Well, it's a solar generator when you tack on uh, that thing. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this. I would definitely recommend it for anyone for pretty much just to have on an emergency basis. It's perfect. Like if you saw some value to this, hit that bell. So you know the next time we put something, make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, safe travels. See you out there. with it um, and if it's raining you're not going to be getting a lot of sun anyway. Come on up. If you're not the seven, you have to jump down. Are you going to beat up King who's, who's sitting there so nicely? He's like, I have the high ground! <laughs> well, we saw how that worked out for Anakin, didn't we? Uh, I can have this now without wearing most of it. I've got dog hair in my eyeball. Are we done? Sweet. What is that? I don't know what that is.